Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with Zebu Nation. We are back with FC Cincinnati, and today we've got a very special episode because it doesn't have anything to do with Major League Soccer. Really, this is the Champions Cup. That's right, where we get to play, it's the uh, champion of the Major League Soccer versus champion of uh, Liga MX down there in Mexico. And today we're facing Toluca, which I'm going to be honest, I don't think this is a team I've ever faced before. So that's kind of interesting. Let's take a look at Toluca, see what they're all about. Deportivo Toluca. I mean, they're pretty good, as you could expect. You know, they're right there. They got a few guys who aren't terrific. They're left back. I mean, he's still two and a half stars, so that's still pretty good. And yeah, he's he's still probably pretty decent. He's only 18 years old. We don't know a lot about him, but, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough challenge. These guys are definitely pretty good, but it's, it's odd that we've never faced Toluca before. Uh, not in the Champions League or anything like that. Okay. Okay, so this is a team that has risen from the bottom. Look at that. They were 16th place in 18-19. They've worked their way up. 15th place, 8th, 10th, 8th, 2nd last year, and now 1st in the uh, opening stage this year, 21-22. So they were 2nd in the closing stage and 1st in the opening stage. So I guess aggregate that makes them the champions sure i don't know how that works i've never played i've never managed down in mexico so i'm not exactly sure how that whole combination works but i think it's i think it's a combination of first and second stage anyway uh this is a team that kind of mirrors us right they've worked their way up from the bottom they've done things the hard way let's take a look at their facilities good training facilities okay adequate corporate facilities 31,000 seat all 31,000 all seater capacity built in 1954. So let's check out their history. If their stadium was built in 1954, I mean they've got a lot of trophies. We just probably haven't heard from them lately. 11 first division championships, three Mexican cups, five Mexican champions trophies, two North American champions cups, and one second division. Club background founded in 1917, so they have been around for quite a while. First division, Los Diablos Rojos famously lifted the Champions Trophy in 2022. So there we go. This team has been around for a while. They enjoyed their greatest success during the 2000s. History they can be proud of, boasting of 22 competitions win, 22 competition wins. So... Yeah, they were runners-up in Champions League 2014 and 2019. So they have been doing some business. We just haven't really noticed them because we haven't played them directly. So they're still a good team. Still something to look forward to. And this is, you know, another championship for us to try to win. Another uh, piece of silverware. Some hardware to put in the, uh, in the old bank account. So their potential strength is finishing. That's not good. Oh, yeah, we didn't really look at their formation, their roster. Uh, okay, so they're a three-striker formation. Jose Camacho up top. Um, not the fastest guy in the world, but excellent finishing. I mean, we don't have these guys fully scouted, so it's hard to tell exactly. But, so, you know, they're probably all in the 15-16 range for a lot of their attributes here. Here's their best player, Luis Diaz. Shadow Striker, okay. She's a guy who sort of will lurk around the goal and wait to make runs. Excellent first touch. I mean, he's pretty good. There's no question about it. Probably like 15, 16 pace and acceleration. First touch is probably 17 or 18. So, you know, he's going to be difficult to keep an eye on. And then Vitor on the right, 23-year-old Brazilian. Not quite as fast. Not quite as good, honestly, looking over this guy. I mean, he does have tremendous long shooting. Probably has like 15 or 16 long shooting, so that could be, that could prove, prove difficult. But anyway, uh, they're a good team. We're a good team. Let's get back 
to where we're at here. So they are six to four favorites, even though um, you know we haven't played each other, of course. Even though uh, it's a home game, twenty five thousand ticket sellout at FC Cincinnati Stadium. It's wet, sixty nine degrees and breezy. Mark Giger is the referee. Two point seven yellows per match, so that's a that's a little on the high side. Three yellows a match, you know that could get somebody thrown out. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Not a lot of run up to this one. It's just a one off, one game Champions Cup winner takes all. Winner is dominant in North America. Let's see if we can prove, you know, once and for all that we are the dominant club in North America. We've already proved it in Champions League. Uh, I mean, we've had a lot of injuries again. It's just, it's not, it's nonstop, really. The good news is a lot of our guys who have been seriously injured are back. In basically, all of them are back. As you can see, we have no serious injuries at the moment. Now we're just dealing with nagging injuries. High injury risk, high injury susceptibility for some of these guys. Carlton, Nuhu, Miguel, you know. So it's it's about managing things at the moment. So we really didn't need an extra extra game in our fixture um, just for that sense. We could use with the rest, but it is a trophy, so we're going to try to win it. We're going to throw our starting lineup out there. They just played four days ago in MLS, but we're going to throw them out there anyway. Going to win the cup. We didn't take it seriously last year and lost, so now we're going to see what we can do. Let's see. who Are they starting their players? Toluca have only conceded seven goals in 11 games. Fabiano Nogueira has played in. Okay. Nogueira is their central defender here. 11 appearances, 7.25 rating. Garcia, the goalkeeper, has not played a game this season. There's Diaz. 7.5 rating, only two appearances. 12 appearances for Silva. Tobio is their team captain with 10 appearances. So they're, they're not doing the 4-3-3 as they're previously, uh, they previously had. They dropped back to more of a uh, traditional 4-4-2. Some regens in there on the right-hand side. Up top, Jamie Garza 13 times off the bench. No starts, three goals. And then Rodriguez up top. Three appearances, one goal, one assist. So I don't think they're playing quite their strongest team here. Meanwhile, we are playing our strongest team. We got Dufin goal, Stevenson, Richards, Glad, Blackman on defense. Alashi, Akechi in the midfield. DeVries, Acosta, Carlton on the right. Prisbilko up top. Leading goal scorer with five or nine goals in 23 appearances. Not a tremendous amount. But sort of the best we got. DeVries taking the captain's armband. Also leading the team in assists with eight. Uh, Carlton has been complaining about playing time. He's unhappy because we were unable to give him all the playing time he wanted. And, um, you know, because he was injured most of the time. It's not really my fault. But I couldn't, I couldn't take that option when it came to, like, telling him about it. Like, explaining things. So he got upset because I wasn't able to explain to him that he was injured. So, just going to have to... Anyway. Your team has offered little in the way of surprises. Are you confident? Yes. Send the assistant. Get out of here. Here we go. Home crowd sellout for the big Champions Cup. Yeah, it's a little sparse in the away zone, but it's kind of hard to tell with the red on red. Maybe there's more guy, more fans back there than we thought. I don't know how well Toluca travels. See uh, if they can bring an exciting away crowd. I mean, it's set us out. Yeah, that's just red shirts. Okay. Glad with the header. Can't finish off the crossbar. That's not a good sign. I mean, he had a dead-on goal. Great tackle by Stevenson. <laughs> How's old Stevenson looking these days? He's still improving. I mean, look at those. those physicals are just outlandish. Look at him. Balance, jumping, fitness, pace, stamina, strength. He's killing it. Here he is with the throw in. Gets it to DeVries. No, it's headed away, but a catch he gathers it in. Centers to Alashi. Looking out wide. Gets it to Blackman on the overlap. 
He sends one in. Nobody there. Ketchy has it. He's got Stevenson on the overlap, who sends it in. Prisbilka with the header well wide. Not the greatest of crosses from our fullbacks, but our fullbacks, that's not really their forte. Five crossing from Stevenson. Uh, nine crossing from Blackman. I mean, our fullbacks are more, you know, defensive type guys. It's just, just my style is to have defensive fullbacks and let, you know, the midfielders do most of the attacking. That's why I'm not a fan of the wingbacks. I mean, I'll take a guy. If a guy does have some offensive abilities, I'll take that. But for the most part, I'm looking for defensive attributes, tackling and heading and marking. Not that Blackman is terrific at that. But our our fullbacks are so athletic. Here's DeVries. Sends one back post. Glad it's fouled. Ketchy will take the penalty. There we go. Putting the pressure on him has paid off with a penalty. Ketchy steps up to the plate. And he scores. Not a great attempt by the keeper there. Sort of flailed at it. But there's a Ketchy's ninth goal of the season. So he's now tied for the lead so Toluca did bring quite quite the away section look at all that red and white two two tiers of fans so they have showed up for this event and right now we're dominating 10 shots three on target they have two shots none on target Stevenson to a catchy back to Stevenson back to a catchy let's go centers to Alashi is he going to take the shot he does, and it's deflected, but he's going to pick up his own rebound. Get it out wide to Blackman. And we're going to reset the attack. The highlight continues. Toluca looks like they may have dropped back a little in their formation. Carlton to Prisbilko, and he, oh, just wide. I thought that was in. The goalkeeper went the wrong way. I, I don't know. Just a trick of uh, depth perception or something. I thought that was in the net. We could really use a second goal so that they don't get a cheap one like this. Lozano sends it in. Dufest to punch it out. Their highlight continues. Toluca looking to put a little bit of pressure. They still don't have a shot on goal. So they're looking to change that. There's a steal from Blackman. Get it out wide to Carlton on the run. On the counterattack, Carlton, plenty of space. He's got men rushing forward. Gets it wide to DeVries, and DeVries scores. Fourth goal of the season, assist by Carlton. I don't know if he intended to pass that to DeVries, but that ended up being a great pass. I thought he might have been trying to get it in the middle. Yeah, missed a header by the defender, and it just falls to DeVries. Outstanding. 2-0. Let's go, boys. DeVries on an 8.2. Lozano's getting too much space. Okay. Yeah, you know, they're a little tired out there. Lozano, 72%. 28-year-old Uruguayan. All right, first half's over. They still only have two shots, none on target. Defense is clamping down. Even though they've got 54% possession, that's just defensive suffocation right there. If the team has 54% possession and no shots on target, that's when you know you're playing well. All right. Pep Talk. Very pleased with your performance. Keep it up. Let's uh, tactics... You know, let's waste some time. I don't think that's out of the question. We'll see if they can come back. See what sort of pressure they'll try to put on us. If they try to put the pressure on, then we'll, uh, you know, we'll go back to what we were doing. DeVries sends one forward. Carlton might get there. He does. He does. He takes a shot. He bends one in on goal. Not, not a lot of steam behind it, but... He did get it on target.
Got Coachella on in the background again today. Some band called The Parcels. They sound like a real 70s vibe to these guys. Like, uh, like they're trying to be the Bee Gees or something like that. I don't know. They sound all right. I can't hear them now, of course, because I'm recording a video. But <sighs> anyway, 58 minutes down already. Lozano sends one in. Akechi heads it out to Acosta. He's going to start the counterattack. Got men rushing forward if they don't get in his way. He sends one forward to Prisbilko. He's got, looks like, Stevens out wide. It is Stevens, not necessarily who we wanted to, but he gets it back post to Carlton. Heads it over. That's a goal kick. How's Carlton doing these days? Not much in the way of improvement. Um, you know, the injuries have held him back this season. There's no question about that. He's still very good. He just hasn't improved yet this season. Alashi and Acosta with the yellow cards. Here's a catchy. Free kick. He scores 10th goal of the season. I mean, he, he's been doing such good things the last three seasons. MVP of the league. The last two years. Can he make it three in a row? I don't know. But with plays like that, it's a possibility. 9.2 rating, two goals. Killing it. Going to make a couple of subs here. Going to bring in Ars Jr. for Alashi. I was going to bring in somebody for Acosta, but we don't have anybody on the bench. I mean, we could possibly bring in Miguel. Miguel needs some playing time. He's another guy coming back from injury. We'll put him in there. Blackman with the throw in. Gets it to Acosta. Centers to a catch. He's wide open. He just... I mean, he's showing off now. He's, he's just showing off. Like, I'll just take a punt at this one. Curls it into top corner. Perfect shot from... 35 yards out. I mean, he was like at the very top of the semicircle here, or outside it even. Yeah, he just turns, just bends it. I mean, forget about it. 4 0 over Toluca. Yeah, their ratings are real bad. They're probably a little bit uh, upset they didn't send their best team, but uh, too late now. Champions Cup belongs to FC Cincinnati. Stevenson throwing his weight around. Gets fouled. Come on, Vasquez. You should know better than that. Maybe. I don't know who you are, but you should probably know better than to challenge uh, Stevenson. Oh. Red card. Get out. So they've dropped to a 4-3-2. I probably would have taken out a striker, but, you know, that's just me. There we go. Drop to the 4-4-1. And now we should be able to just grind out a victory. Catchy Carlton. Should probably get those guys out, but too late. Three minutes of stoppage time. Let's go. More silverware added to the trophy cabinet. There's Miguel getting a boot on the ball. Prisbilko parked in front. Nope, can't do much about it. Don't tell me they're going to get one back. No. The ref has seen enough. He just blows the whistle on him. There we go. Look at the orange and blue confetti coming down. Everybody dancing around. I don't know what this guy's doing here. He's just sort of hopping on one leg. <laughs> there we are. Right there with the, you can see in the background, carrying the trophy to the supporter section. The Bailey. Let's go, boys. Uh, Yeah, so 26 shots, 9 on target. Pretty uh, testy game there. 15 fouls to 16. They finally got some shots on target. Three shots, or Five shots, three on target. Just couldn't do anything. Their ratings were in the toilet. Player of the match, of course, a catchy 9.6. A hat trick. Destruction. 
complete and utter destruction. Um, very pleased. Very pleased. Let's go. So there it is. Champions Cup is now ours. Past winners. So we were runner-up last year to Monterey. This year, champions. FC Cincinnati. See what they have to say about it. Yep, roaming playmaker Akechi gave Cincinnati the lead. Yep, 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 yep. Good job. Way to go. Cincinnati won the Champions Cup. Nation lifted the MLS Cup in 2021 and now add further success, of course. Of course, do we get any money for that? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we got press conferences and stuff to deal with. Um, Schedule-wise, we haven't been terrific as of late. We lost to Chicago in our last game, which is a bit of a shock, I'll be honest, after we you know, destroyed them not too long ago, 5-1 in August. Bounced back with a 2-1 loss at Chicago. Coming up next, we got Atlanta, Montreal, Orlando, and San Jose. Uh, we'll probably get to those games in our next episode. So, until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.